So it's week 16 recovery from my fourth surgery. Um, tomorrow morning, I'll be having my fifth surgery. This one is just scleotherapy to tie up some of the um, extra painful veins that are wrapped around my iliac vein. So the surgery should be a little bit more simple than the last one, hopefully, but they still might have to do angioplasty and that kind of stuff um, if they see it on the venogram and everything like that. So today I wanted to kind of talk about what I call the calm before the storm. Um, being someone who has been through many surgeries and having to deal with this lifelong blood clotting disorder and having May Turner syndrome and pelvic congestion syndrome and venous insufficiency and DVTs and having something like that as a permanent part of your life, it's, it's very complicated. Um, every single time I've had surgery so far, um, I've had that out-of-body experience and I've seen stuff and I've seen relatives of mine who have passed away. And it, it's a very like eerie but calming situation to go into surgery again because every time I do, my first thought is I wonder who I'm going to see and why. Because when I was 16 years old and they told me I was going to die and I had like 18 hours straight of surgery and they thought they were going to lose me a couple times in there. Um, I saw so much and my first question was, why, why was I sent back here? Like, if up there is so peaceful and calm and you're not in pain and nothing hurts, like, why was I chosen to be sent back? back down here and it's a very humbling experience to constantly live a life of discomfort and pain and all I want to do with this life is to help other people and um honestly with that you know I mentioned it a few times that my dream has been to be an advocate and to speak speak to people about my story and I want to speak to doctors and surgeons and people who have the ambition and drive to go in this field to help people like myself. And I was actually fortunate enough to hear from the president of the International Vein Conference that is in Amsterdam this year. And he wants me to speak at that conference to all these surgeons and all these people who work in the field and tell my story. Um, as having one of the worst vein cases in the whole entire world, it, it makes me feel great and it, I feel like it humbles me deeply to be able to speak at a conference where people will be there who have invented these devices and these strategies that have actually helped save my life. I am like, I'm beyond words to be able to do something like this and to be out there and to tell people my story and hope it helps other people, especially other children and young adults who live their life like mine, constantly, like, at the mercy of your, your clotting disorder and constantly at the mercy of how healthy your veins are and knowing that at any time all your veins could collapse and kill you and for whatever reason. So that's kind of like my week 16 update is just I have surgery tomorrow and I look forward to speaking at this conference in a couple months and being able to share with the world my story and so far on my platform I have 300 followers and that is the most most support I've ever had in my life and it, it makes me feel so good that I can share my story with you guys and I hope it helps at least one person. I think that's my whole goal here is I don't know how long I don't know how long I have to live. Um But I do know while I'm living, I want to help people. So 
thank you all so much for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, and everything like that. All the support really means a world of difference to me, and I really hope I just can help people. So thank you all so much, and I'll keep you updated with recovery for the next surgery and everything I have to go through tomorrow. So thank you all so much for the support and helping me fulfill my dreams. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.